Channel 5's new high school quiz show, High Q. And here's your host, Mike Lynch. NCAA basketball tournament has its final four, and on high cue, we have our final four right now. We have moved into our semi-final round. Four teams have survived from the original 100 that started here on high cue. And let's meet two of today's semi-final teams. On the top row, the Spartans of Stoneham High School. Yeah. And our other semi-finalists, the Tigers, as you've seen already from Oliver Ames High School down in Easton. Okay, you know how the first round works. Correct answer is 10 points, no penalties at all for an incorrect answer. Everybody ready? All right, let's play high Q. First question. What is the slang term for a particularly cold night in Australia? Stoneham. A three dog night. Three dog night is right. Ten points. What is the English translation of the German term Volkswagen? Stoneham. The people's car. People's car is correct. <laughs> Here's a physics question for you. What is the unit of inductance named after the discoverer of self-inductance? He also invented the electromagnetic telegraph. Oliver Ames. The Ohm. The ohm. No, that's incorrect. Stoneham, you want to take a shot at it? Yeah. Give me a buzz and then an answer. There you go. Faraday? No. A Henry is the correct answer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Name the legendary worker who tries to outwork a steam drill with a hammer. Stoneham? Casey Jones? <laughs> no, uh, not the former coach of the Celtics. <laughs> Oliver Ames. John Henry? John Henry is correct. <laughs> All right, to the big board we go for our first question. The painting coming into view is perhaps the best known work of this artist. It depicts a man and a woman in a rural American setting. Oliver Ames. Uh, the artist is Grant Wood and the painting is American Gothic. You get it. <laughs> we got a tie ball game, 2020. Name the monster in classical mythology with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, Stoneham. The Chimera. Chimera is absolutely right. Back to the big board we go. A mother is twice as old as her daughter. Their combined age is equal 60. Stoneham. Uh, the mother is 40 and the daughter is 20. Absolutely right. <laughs> All right, we've got a two-parter here. You must get both parts. To get the points. Name the 12th century English holy man who was murdered by his king's men while in church. And name the famous 20th century play based on this historical tragedy. Stoneham. Um, Beckett and uh, the play is Murder in the Cathedral. You get it by T.S. Eliot. <laughs> Little geography for you now. If you flew directly from Odessa in the USSR to Anchor in Turkey, over what sea would you fly? Stoneham. The Black Sea. Black Sea is right. Another 10 for Stoneham. 60-20, our score. In the very early centuries, it was bravery, skill, generosity, and victory, piety, and courtesy to women. And there are those who say that it is dead. What is the code of honor? Stoneham. What is chivalry? Chivalry, chivalry. is right. <laughs> Most of your sense of whether food tastes good is formed by your receptors. Go ahead, Oliver Ames. Your nose? Your nose is the correct. Oh, no. All right, that's the end of round one. Our score oh, is yeah. Stoneham 70, Oliver Ames 30. We'll be back with more high cue right after this timeout. <laughs> This week's High Q is brought to you in part by Bank of Boston, in association with Boston Edison. 
Well, my, my grandfather came to New Hampshire, and then he would do uh, cobble walls. He taught my father how to do it, and my, my father taught myself and my brothers. Most walls we did were dry walls. There's no cement in them. So it's a matter of very careful placement of one stone beside another stone. In a place where people build things to last, it's not surprising so many New Englanders have chosen to bank with us. And, and, and it will always be there. At Boston Edison, we have programs to help you manage and conserve energy, not just to save money, but as part of our commitment to the environment. Your participation can help by reducing the need for new power plants. You see, we'll provide all the power the residents in our area need. But there are some residents who shouldn't have to pay for it. Who this is, and Friday's Mass Millions jackpot is worth millions again this week. Boy, think what you could do with Mass Millions. You could be a millionaire by Friday if you play Mass Millions. Think what you could do with Mass Millions. High Q is closed caption for the hearing impaired through a grant provided by Bank of Boston. Everybody, our score after the first round, Stoneham 70, Oliver Rames 30. High Q, of course, part of our Great Expectation campaign here at Channel 5. In the preceding show, in the quarterfinals, you got to meet our team members, and they told you a little bit about themselves. In the time between the quarterfinals and the semifinals, many of them have found out where they're going to college, and we thought it'd be fun to find out where they're going to be spending the next four years. And let's start upstairs with the people from Stoneham. Hi, my name is Jean-Marc Rocher. I'm a senior, and next year I'm going to be going to Harvard. All right. Hi, I'm Renata Ferrari. I'm a senior, and next year I'm going to Harvard. Two Harvards. Hi, my name is Carl Lee, and next year I'll be attending Amherst College. All right. Hi, my name is Glenn Adamson, and next year I'll be attending Cornell University. All right, let's have a big hand for Stoner. <laughs> and how about all the rings? Hi, I'm Mike Margulies, and next year I'll be attending Virginia Polytech for a five-year architecture course. Outstanding. Dave Costa, St. John's College in Maryland. Okay. I'm Claire, and I'm going to Johns Hopkins, and today I'd like to say happy birthday to my sister, Megan. All right, Megan. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Megan. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think Megan's future is in television. <laughs> happy birthday, Megan. Okay. I am Warren Tingley, as, a, as I'm only a junior, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to college. All right, I score. Stoneham 70. Oliver Ames, 30. Let's continue now with high Q. Same uh, scoring system as we had in round number one. Okay. Benjamin Disraeli once said he hated three kinds of lies. He called them lies, damn lies, and Stoneham? Statistics. Statistics is right for another 10 points, 80-30. <laughs> the so big board we go for our next question. Name a microorganism made up of a single cell that has no distinct nucleus and reproduced by mitosis or forming spores. Stone them. A virus? No, I'm sorry. No. Oliver Ames, take a shot at it. A bacteria? Bacteria is correct for 10 points. All right, here's our first audio question. Name the 19th century French composer who composed this song of the Toreadors and name this famous opera. Stone them. Uh, Carmen by Bizet. Yeah, quick, I'll tell you. You can buy that. Name that too. Ten points. In dollars, the United States GNP is a five, followed by how many zeros? In dollars, Oliver Ames. Nine. No. Want to take a shot at it, Stoneham? Ten. No, the answer is twelve, which means you owe somebody. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> Here's a softball question, easy for you. What does GNP stand for? Oliver Ames. Gross National Gross Product. Gross National Product. They pick up the 10 points. What is another name for unrhymed iambic pentameter? Oliver Ames. Blank verse. Blank verse is correct. 
In Russian, it means big, but most of us know this word for the ballet company from the Muscovite Theater. Bolshoi? Bolshoi is correct, the Bolshoi Ballet. <laughs> this is the name given to a large star as it suddenly explodes in its last stage, Sonum. Supernova? Su Supernova is correct. <laughs> the explosion increases the brightness thousands of times. 110 to 60, Stoneham over Oliver Ames. The only soldier executed for war crimes after the American Civil War was Major Henry Wirtz. He had been blamed for more than 13,000 Union Army fatalities. What was his job? <laughs> Oliver Ames. He was the keeper of Andersonville Prison. Absolutely right. <laughs> Here's a four-part question. Buzz, when you know each answer, match each of the following rights of a U.S. citizen with the appropriate constitutional amendment. The right of free speech. Sonum. The First Amendment. First Amendment is correct. Protection from unreasonable search and seizure. Oliver Ames. The fifth. No, it's not the fifth. Sonum, you get a shot at it. The fourth. Fourth is correct. <laughs> the right to a trial by jury. Eighth. No, yeah. Stoneham. Sixth. Lucked out. Good guess. That's the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> Can't fool me. The freedom of religious choice. All the The first. First Amendment is correct. OK. <laughs> it became known as the Night of Glass, the evening the Nazis demolished. Crystal Knot. Crystal Knot is absolutely right. All right, here's one for you math whizzes. Give the value of six factorial. Stoneham. 720. 720 is correct. <laughs> to the big board, we go again. In geology, the wave-washed sediment along a coast extending throughout the surf zone is technically known as what? Stoneham. Delta? No. The wave-washed sediment along a coast extending throughout the surf zone is technically known as what? Oliver Ames. Silt? No. This is one of those that's so easy it's hard. A beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of wave-washed, according to legend, this kingdom was once an island in the Atlantic Ocean. Stoneham. Atlantis. Atlantis is correct. Swallowed up by an earthquake. History question now. Name the 19th century abolitionist, herself a former slave. She helped other slaves escape to freedom. Oliver Ames. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is correct. <laughs> the big boy would go again. Finish the following quotations and tell us who made them famous. All for one and Stoneham. One for, one for all by the Three Musketeers. Absolutely right. Old soldiers never die, all the rains. They just fade away, General Douglas MacArthur. You get it. <laughs> and if you can't stand the heat, own them. Get out of the kitchen. Roosevelt? No, Roosevelt is wrong. Do we, uh... All right, it's Oliver Ames. <laughs> Okay, President Harry Truman. Okay, there's our gong, which completes the That's end of round two. We've got a good one going here. Stoneham 170, Oliver Ames 110, back with more high cue right after this break. to high cue everyone here we are in our semi-final round stoneham leads oliver ames 170 to 110 in this third round each correct answer is worth 20 points here we go what small asian animal is the natural enemy of the snake stoneham mongoose mongoose is correct <laughs> name the four american presidents who were assassinated while in office stoneham harrison Lincoln, Harding, and Kennedy. No, I'm sorry. Oliver Ames. I need four American presidents who were assassinated while in office. 
Okay. Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley, and Kennedy. Absolutely right. For 20 points. Here's a two-part follow-up to that question. What was the name of the man said to have assassinated John Kennedy in the name? Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay, I said it's a two-part question. Oh. And then one more and answer. Jack, Ruby. By Jack, Jack Ruby. Ruby is right. You figured it out. <laughs> In classical mythology, he was a king who the gods punished by forcing him to roll an enormous boulder to the top of a steep hill. Oliver Ames. Tantalus? No. I'll finish the question. Only to have the boulder fall down the hill again. Name this character. Take a stab at it, Stone. Of anything. Um, Sybilis? What's that answer? Sybilis? No, it's... Sisyphus, oh. the myth of Sisyphus. All right, here's a 10-pointer right here, which is now a 20-pointer. Spell Sisyphus. Don't him. S-I-S-Y-P-H-U-S. -S -S you got it. 20 points. 210 for Stoneham, 150 Oliver Ames. Up to the tape we go again. Take a look and solve the following equation for x. 6x minus 10 equals 4x plus 5. Oliver Ames. Seven and a half. Seven point five is absolutely right. Nineteen ninety-two will mean big changes in the European economy. What is it that will happen in Europe, Stoneham? The common market. Judge. The um, frontiers will go down economically. That's the correct answer. Okay. Oliver Ames. Al Lewis is our judge. He makes up these questions. So I look to him from time to time out of the corner of my eye for a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll all have to become more familiar with European geography. Seven countries border France. Name five of the countries that border France. Oliver Ames. Belgium, Switzerland, Italy, um, Spain, um, Luxembourg. 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 You get it. Those are the... <laughs> Name the world's largest known cave. Stoneham. Mammoth Cave. No, Oliver Ames, you have a shot at it. The world's largest known cave. Carlsbad Caverns. Carlsbad Caverns is correct. <laughs> it's the gong at the end of round three. What a game we have going here. Oliver Ames has taken the lead, 230 to 210. When we come back, our final round. There's been several invasions since the 40s into Maine. Some would leave, some wouldn't. Uh, when you come into a new community, you have to kind of fight your way into it, especially if it's close-knit like this. This is the closest match we've had to date on High Q. Here we go to our final round. Oliver Ames, 230. Stoneham, 210. 20 points for each correct answer and a chance for a 10-point bonus for the team that gets the correct answer. Ten chance to pull away or for Stoneham, perhaps, to overtake Oliver Ames. Here we go. Stalin, Superman, Andrew Carnegie, Sir Henry Bessemer. All of these men have a three-word nickname in common. It is the literal translation of Stalin. Name it. Stoneham. The Man of Steel. Man of Steel is right for 20 points. Now, your bonus question. Sir Henry Bessemer invented the process to manufacture high-quality steel from pig iron. In the steel industry, this process is technically known as what? Smelting? No. Oliver Ames, you get a shot at it. Vulcanization? It's, it's the Bessemer process. One of those that's so easy, it's hard. All right, here we go. Clark Air Force Base and the Sub-Bay Naval Base are America's two largest overseas Air Force and Navy bases, respectively. They are both located in the same country. What is this country? Stoneham. So. The Philippines? Philippines is correct. <laughs> For your 10-point bonus now, spell Philippines. P-H-I-L. I-P-P-I-N-E-S. You got it. For 10 points. <laughs> 
260 to 230, our score. The assassination of Archduke Francis Ferdinand is one of the events that led to the outbreak of World War I. Sonam. Oh, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Say, say his nationality. Sarajevo. Sarajevo is correct. Oh, wow. Here's your 10 point bonus. What modern day country is Sarajevo now located? That's their bonus question. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is correct. The 84 Olympics are in Sarajevo. <laughs> this religion emphasized freedom from the material world through purification of desires and elimination of personal identity. Stoneham. Mormons. No, sorry. I'll finish the question for you, Oliver Ames. The beliefs include reincarnation, and its sacred writings include the Bhagavad Gita. What is this religion? Buddhism. No, the answer is Hinduism. Oh. Now we go to the graphics tape for our next bonus question. This self-portrait of a 19th century painter coming into view was done shortly before the artist abandoned his family career and country. Paul Gauguin. Paul Gauguin is absolutely right. Oh, yeah! Now, the 10 point bonus. What was Paul Gauguin's native country? Belgium? No. Don't let me get a shot at it. Paul Gauguin. France. France is correct for 10 points. <laughs> 300 to 250 is our score. Quote, Abandon hope, all ye who enter here, end quote. In world literature, where do we find this inscription? Uh, the Gates of Hell in Dante's Inferno. You got it. 20 points. 10 point bonus question. What was Dante's full name? Dante Alighieri. Alighieri is right. Another time. This nation is said to be the poorest of all nations in the Western Hemisphere. Stoneham. Haiti. Haiti is right. Here's your 10 point bonus question. Name the powerful family which ruled Haiti for many years. Its most recent ruling member was known as Baby Doc. Duvalier. Duvalier is correct for 10 points. <laughs> to the big board we go. For a given flammable substance, this is the lowest temperature at which vapors passing from the substance. Uh, the flashpoint. Flashpoint is correct. Here's your 10 point bonus question. What is the process by which a collection of materials like oily rags catches fire without the application of heat from outside? Spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion is correct. I have a neighbor who found that out the hard way one afternoon. <laughs> Name the three races in horse racing's triple crown. Stoneham. Uh, the Belmont Stakes, the Preakness Stakes, and the Kentucky Derby. You get it. Bonus question for 10 points. In what month is the Kentucky Derby run? In May. May is correct for 10 points. <laughs> These animals were used by a 19th century Russian scientist to test his theory of condition. Oliver Ames. Dogs and the scientist was Pavlov. Pavlov's. You got it for 20. Here's your bonus now. You get 270. What did Pavlov use to condition his dogs to respond? Bells and food. Bells and food are right. So now they're up to 280. <laughs> audio question here. Listen carefully for this two part audio question and tell me the speaker and the term that made its first appearance into the English language. An iron curtain has descended across the continent. Iron iron. Winston Churchill, iron curtain. You got it for another 20 points. <laughs> Bonus question, and there is our siren. It signals the end of the game. Okay. <laughs> Our final score is Stoneham 450, Oliver Ames 270, 300. Actually, they got another three points. We're slow in adding the points. 300 points for Oliver Ames. Stoneham moves on to our championship round. <laughs> well, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how everybody does it, I'll tell you. And these are some tough questions. Congratulations, Stoner moving on to a championship round. Oliver Ames, terrific effort. They just uh, kind of came alive, I think, in the, uh, in the bonus round here. Thanks so much. Congratulations to both teams. Thank you for having me.
special that just might save a life, the American Red Cross Emergency Test. This is Jim McKay. Join ABC's Wide World.